Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I am super excited for multiple reasons. Uh, well, first we're opening up the December glossy box and still killing it with the box game. How beautiful is this? And it's like glittery, but it's not the type of glitter that really comes off. Like maybe I've seen one or two specks on my hand, but then I'm like, wait, was it my highlighter or something? <laughs> but it's so pretty. Uh, so yeah, we'll be opening that and in today's video I'm going to announce the giveaway winner for 11,000 subscriber giveaway that ended yesterday So stay tuned for that and then at the end of the video I will quickly review the products from the November glossy box But before we get started, I just want to take a moment to say hi and welcome if you are new here My name is Kitty. I love subscription boxes and beauty products uh, Really love beauty boxes like glossy box and I open them every single day here in our channel So if you love them too, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe that means so much to me and also you guys right when I was turning on the camera like I pressed some setting that's different so hopefully this is all okay I am not good like with the camera department I just press on off yeah <laughs> so it looks good though I uh, just want to put that out there probably will edit that out but let's get back to glossy box this is a monthly beauty subscription it normally costs $21 a month uh, there is a code in a, or a link I should say that I have I'm with them it's non affiliated meaning I don't make money it's just to help you guys out to save you five dollars on your first box so you can get it for sixteen dollars and I've just been loving glossy box lately it seems like you guys have too from the, um, the comment section and stuff um, I just think like they keep getting better and they're like I said earlier like their box designs are beautiful and they're like high quality too they're not like flimsy like you can repurpose these like you can even use this one as a gift box for the holidays but I'm gonna be selfish and keep it for myself I think uh, so yeah let's get started I did peek you guys because uh, I was wondering if there's anything I could like use today there's one thing I tried and one of my all-time favorites a product I mentioned in a recent favorites video like just a couple days ago I'll link that down below if you missed it is in here so I'm really excited especially for you guys to try it so inside there's this card here and then everything is wrapped up so you can reuse this beautiful tissue paper too it's like my favorite type of pink like mommy pink uh, for the holidays oh I see my favorite product uh, peeking out <laughs> so they have a little note here. They call us Glossies. They're Glossy Box subscribers. As 2020 comes to a close, we made our final box of the year extra special, covered in shimmer and filled with joy. It truly represents the best time of the year. We thank you for taking the journey of beauty with us this past 12 months. Enjoy your last glossy curation of skincare, makeup, and hair care of 2020, and we can't wait to see you in 2021. Yeah, I'm ready for 2021. Okay, since I see it, let's start off with the product that was in my favorites video that uh, if you guys have been around, you know, is my favorite, and I actually used it today. You guys, this is my natural hair. I feel like I've been do, like styling it a lot lately. I didn't use any products. Look how long it is, and I think it looks pretty healthy, and I think this product has to do with it, and it is the Christoph Robin Scalp Scrub. So the actual name is the uh, uh, Cleansing Purifying Scalp Scrub with Sea Salt, and I know without even looking, this is $19. It looks like a small size, but if you use it like I do, like use it once a week uh, when you wash your hair, I don't know how long ago, I don't like count the days because I, I don't know, but I washed my hair today with it, um, and I actually tried another product by them with it too, but I'm no way to talk about that one because I don't know how I feel yet, but I think it's good. This stuff, I don't even need to read the description to you guys. Uh, yeah, the full size is expensive. It's $53. They say this is worth $8.48. I thought this was $19. Maybe there's like an in-between size that they sell at Sephora or Sephora jacks up the prices, but that's cool if Glossy Box is like being honest that this is what this size is worth, but I'm pretty sure you can buy this size exactly for $19, but it's awesome. It's so good. It's really... Um, made my hair health a lot better, my scalp health. It makes me go longer between washing it. And I love it. And now I'm so excited to so see if you get this box, you get to try it. So, well, already in a good mood. And one item I tried um, a few times today when I first opened it, I just put it on my lips to see what it's like. And also I, I use it on my cheeks too, but then I added other blush. But this is by Nude Sticks and it's their gel color lip and cheek balm in Posh. So this is what it looks like. I've tried their products before and this color actually like matches my natural lip color like almost exactly. Uh, I should have taken a picture with it on. I'll swatch it for you guys right now. Oops, I have some other swatches. But it's like, it has a little sheen to it. And I put some on my cheek too and I actually really like this. So this is going to be like the perfect go-to thing for like the no makeup, makeup days or like when you're just trying to put yourself together really quick, you can put some on your lips. It just makes them look more hydrated and juicy even if it does match your lip color like mine. And it gives it a little bit of color. 
Um, and then her cheeks, it gives a little color too. I like it. Maybe I'll put... Maybe you're closer to me. <laughs> put it over my liquid lipstick and see how it works that way. Yeah, when you wear it over a, a liquid lipstick, you can see the, especially a matte one like I had on, I'm wearing like the KVD, Vegan Beauty, whatever, <laughs> on liquid lipstick. And bow and arrow, I believe. I don't know. I can put it down below or tell you if you care, leave a comment. <laughs> but I think that actually works well with it. It's better than a gloss, because sometimes glosses over liquid lipsticks make it, them like move and transfer, even though they didn't transfer before. Nice. <laughs> so now even another way to use it. And this has a retail value of $26, wow. And here they're showing like the case that normally comes with it. I'm honestly glad I didn't get it because I just think like that extra packaging that normally comes with Nude Sticks products is wasteful. Uh, but yeah, so two for two so far. Let's see what's next. I didn't really look at the other items. Like I did earlier, but I don't remember. You to the people. Uh, this is a brand I wanted to try more of. I tried their like kale face wash and I liked it, but this is their Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. And it's a hydration cream. That is what I like. I don't like it. Well, of course, everyone who's using a moisturizer wants it to be moisturizing. Uh, but this brand's pretty cool. I think they're like really eco-conscious. Let's see. Yeah, it's made with 100% vegan ingredients, no animal testing, made in California, cold press extracts, it's for all skin types. This definitely isn't full size. This mini is worth $18, so the full size would be $58. So yeah, they're expensive. Oh, and it's so little. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see how this works. It's made with ashwagandha and reishi pentapeptide. I think I might have got those words right this time. <laughs> uh, moving on, looks like we have a mask, and this is your an eye mask. Oh, cool! Look at it. it looks like a masquerade mask. So this is the Smoothing Coconut Biocellulose Eye Mask. I love eye masks. I use them all the time. Today I use a uh, like Korean mask that had like little circles like you put in targeted treatments. Like it's a cooling mask. I got it in a box, of course. Um, but I use that and then a sheet mask over it. I love using eye masks especially. So this helps with dark circles, wrinkles, and puffiness. Puffiness is my problem. I slept nine hours last night, which is amazing. Like, it felt good. <laughs> um, and I use eye masks, but I still have a little puffiness. It's like genetic and, you know, some people have darkness that's genetic too. This is $6. I think it's so cool. I've never used an eye mask that goes all around like that. Have you guys? Oh, and we have a foot mask. I realized I gave like all mine away um, to the winner we'll talk about soon. <laughs> I put like two foot masks in there. I was like, I should use them because I was looking at my feet. I'm like, ooh. Um, anyways, this is by CBD Fix. There's 50 milligrams of CBD in here. Nice. I've been taking CBD drops at night, um, but not for, in my skincare. So lavender foot mask, refreshing and relaxing, broad spectrum hemp therapy. So you put this on your feet. They're like little like um, foot masks. So well, of course it's a foot mask, but they look like little socks, I meant. And this one you only have to leave on for 20 minutes. Those like exfoliating ones that make your feet peel like a week or two later. That you have to leave on for like an hour, an hour and a half. So these are moisturizing, right? Yeah. Cool. And it looks like you could have gotten a variety. I got the lavender, but there's also a peppermint, and I'm happy I got lavender. And it's $9.99. Awesome. And I think there's one more thing. Am I missing it? I think I'm missing the last item. If you guys get glossy box too, you let me know if it was a variation or if it's just missing from my box. Uh, it is a coffee scrub, which I'm fine that I didn't get. I get this sent to me free for review, which I'm so grateful for. Um, obviously if you pay for it, definitely let customer service know and they'll gladly replace it in my experience. So this is coffee scrub by Miniton and the it's travel size and $15. And that was everything, you guys. So I think this was a great box. I'm just like obviously the most excited that my like favorite hair product, like favorite of all the types of hair products was in here, uh, especially not even for myself, like for you guys to try the Get Glossy Box. 
mask and I want to know your thoughts once you try it and the eye mask and the foot mask. I'm glad it's not just like the typical face mask I feel like we get in a lot of beauty boxes. These are a little different and the eye mask is a different shape than I've ever tried and used to the people is a skincare brand I've wanted to try more of. So even though this is a teeny guy that's an expensive brand and I'm excited to get it. Um, it's a bummer I didn't get the coffee scrub but like I said it's okay. Um, Oh, and the lip and cheek product I really like. How did I forget about this? This is one of my favorite things too. I think this is overall a great Glossy Box packaging, like A+, plus. the content's good. I think Glossy Box has been really, really good lately. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but before we get to the review of the products from November, I want to congratulate the winner, Lauren Edmonds. You won the 11K giveaway. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, I knew your name right away, so I didn't have to like look and see if you followed the rule. Um, if you guys are new, I, oh, and I uh, for my giveaways, they're always for my subscribers as like a thank you. So I always just make sure you're like subscribed and stuff like that. But I knew she was, but I still like was curious. I'm like, how long has Lauren been subscribed? So I went on um, my like uh, creator page or whatever, and you can look, look at comments. And she's been commenting like actively like on a lot of my videos for at least six months. So I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I'm happy when anyone wins, but like it's nice knowing someone who shows so much support, especially lately. She comments all the time. Like I. So nice when that happens. Um, so thank you, Lauren, for all your love and support. I am so glad you won. And if you didn't win, you guys, don't worry. Um, there'll be more giveaways. And also, uh, for my channel membership for Tier 2, it's $4.99 a month. And all of that money goes towards what I pay for shipping for giveaways. So there are two giveaways a month for that. We do live chats and there's giveaways. So if you really love giveaways and you have like $5 to spare a month, then um, you can join that and your chances are way higher. I think there's only like 15 of us or something and even less that are able to join the chat. Um, so that's why I have channel membership mostly. I have a tier also that's like $1.99 just for like general support of the channel because some people ask for that and I thank them very much and then the tier two. Um, so it's not like I'm like just gaining money and I don't even know if it covers all the shipping charges but it definitely helps and that's how I'm able to give back to my channel members. Uh, so thank you channel members. There's always a link down below. I usually say this at the very end of the video but um, yeah there's always a link down below or right when it says like um, subscribe and like which you should do both Any anyways <laughs> little plug I never usually say that um, there's a join button too and when you click that it doesn't automatically join you or anything I'll like tell you about the perks and stuff so congratulations again Lauren I'm so happy for you I will um, reach out like I said like pin a comment or whatever you might have noticed I was already like harding a bunch of your old comments maybe it was a clue for you I don't know <laughs> but yeah congratulations again now let's move on to a quick review Gosh, opening this, and not like I was in a bad mood at all today, but this filming and good boxes and giveaway winners and all, talking about you guys lifts me up, you know? <laughs> so I used a palette we got last month in November. I loved the theme and packaging and stuff. Um, so it had like, like a witchy type theme. Um, like everything looks like this, like black and gold, and I just loved it. So we got this palette by LA Splash and um, this is what it looks like. I've only used it a couple of times, but I, that's how it is with like all makeup. I get so many new things I'm trying to review, but I did use it today. And do you ever have one of those days, where, like, I don't know if you start off with your eye makeup, but if you do, I have some here. But if you do, like, sometimes I'll do my eye makeup and like today I was like, I don't, I'm not feeling this. But then like your makeup, it like all comes together at the end when you like put the lipstick on or whatever. Um, so I do like it. My first instinct was to go with the way I've used it like the other two times. Um, I just always gravitate towards like pinky shades and stuff, but I was like, no, use the shade you haven't really used. And like I said, first impressions, like, or like when I swatched in last month's video, which I linked down below if you missed it, these shadows perform really well. I like both the mattes and the shimmers. Uh, I just don't think like the two other shimmers besides ro rose quartz are like my type of shades. I did go in with like um, one other shade. I used like my highlighter and like one Natasha Denona. Um, and like kind of just made it less intense. Here, I'll, I'll swatch them. So the formula is just fine. It's just these two shades here aren't really my shades, but let me do the pink. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if anyone really showed much interest, but um, when I was talking about how I'm trying new like makeup or that I don't normally do, um, like my makeup challenge of the week, I think I called it, I'm doing that every two weeks. So right now I'm trying to use like singles and like um, liquid eyeshadows and stuff like that in my collection. And I've been doing that every day, but I extended it because like one week wasn't enough to try out all the products I have and decide if I want to keep them and share my thoughts on the whole entire um, like 
product or the category. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do it every two weeks and today's the only day I have not used singles. So um, that reminded me. So look out next week for anyone listening. If you're still listening, you probably might know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I just don't think I'll like use it too often. I think this is great every day. Like it performs well. It has a bunch of different shades you can get. Like I like smaller palettes like this, like nine or less. Um, but this is one that's smaller and also you can get like a diverse amount of looks like I was really impressed with the brown like it's really pigmented like really pigmented, but it's also blendable um, So yeah, I like this palette. I just have so many palettes I feel like this would be great for someone who just wants like neutral type shades that perform well and easily like you can come up with, with the look So no complaints there. I'm um, just giving my honest thoughts and I used a brush We got last month too, and this is by spectrum and this is just like a blender brush and this performs well. I've used it multiple times. Uh, I always like getting brushes. And then I used up the Wander Beauty eye mask. It was just a single, like the baggage claim eye mask. Um, I've already said in today's video, I really like eye masks. Um, so that was good. And then I talked about my recent empties video, which I can also link down below if you missed. Um, I had something by Almighty. It was like their rescue balm that is in conjunction with our um, acne patches, like the hydrocolloid patches which I really enjoy. I think I have a couple left, but they're in my bathroom, but I also showed some in my empties video. So they're just like these little patches you put on your pimple like overnight or throughout the day. Like if you picked at your skin, it prevents bacteria from getting in and also helps like heal your acne spot as well. So I think those are great. And I think that was awesome. They included it in the box. And then the one thing I didn't use, and I think it was in some giveaway, I'm pretty sure, or it's in the 11K giveaway and going to Lauren, um, was a black eyeliner by Doucet. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of eyeliners. I do love eyeliner now, but I, yeah, I passed that one on because I have enough, but that's not a complaint. So overall, November was good. I think December is good, but stay tuned. Uh, like I'm just going on first impressions, unboxing and stuff right now. I'll give you more in-depth uh, thoughts at the end of January's video. It's crazy. We're <laughs> in December. Next one's January, but that's it for today, guys. Congratulations again to Lauren. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all of you for your support. I honestly appreciate each and every one of you so much. Um, and like I said, earlier don't be upset if you didn't win there's plenty of opportunities and you might even win like every month or two if you're a channel member but again no pressure I don't ever pressure anyone just like to make that clear but you guys I love you so much I hope you're safe and healthy and are having a great day or night or whatever time it is where you are uh, and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye guys